Well, good afternoon and uh, welcome once again to Ed's Orchids. Now, I've got my new TDS machine and I've got some of this calibration stuff. And if you say it says 342 parts per million, so if I uh, put that in there and it says 342, then this is beautifully calibrated. We'll switch it on, put it in, and it says. 342, 344, it's gone up to 344, so that's near enough. So I'll just swirl it out with a little bit of uh, oral water to clear that. And then we'll test the large coconut husk. Well, this is the large coconut husk, it's on its four soak. We're trying to get it down, and uh, this one is now at 15 parts per million. So that wants another soak, and then, then I'm going to soak it in uh, calcium nitrate before I start using it on the on the on the orchids now a lot of people will say well why don't you soak it in calcium nitrate now well i can't simply because before i do soak it in calcium nitrate i'll have to have it dry out a bit because it's completely saturated now and if i put calcium nitrate in there it just won't soak it up because there's nothing to soak up so i've got to put it once again in the uh, or all water, see what the parts per million is then, and if it drops to six, seven, eight, I'll accept it. And then I'll dry it out of it, and then I'll put it in uh, some or all water with calcium nitrate in. So that'll be beneficial for when I'm uh, repotting. Right, we'll take this out of here now. And put it in another bucket and then we'll fill that one up with uh, our oil water again, the pure our oil water. This is now, this will be, once it's been dried out and then soaked in uh, calcium nitrate, it will be fantastic for the, uh, for the cattleyas. is I've got a couple of blooms out from a plant that's never bloomed before and it's the uh, McClellanaria uh, Pagan Love Song. Well we'll put that on one side now until they're ready to have a look at it in another two or three days and uh, I've just been doing a repotting of some uh, very small Puffy petals that I've had years and they're doing nothing and I've just uh, replanted a lot of them in uh, small coconut husks just to see how they get on and uh, if they get on quite well with those then I will put all my plants on the, on the husks. Well I've had a big clean out as well and look at this room in the greenhouse now and I'm not going to fill it. There's hardly anything in it. Look at that, empty. Absolutely empty. And then we've got the frags. Uh, a dead drone in there. Renanthras and Gracons, Phagmopedians and uh, Paphiopedalus. All along the top, the Draculas. But the one I want to show you, and that's a nice surprise for me, is this uh, Maslelanara Pagan Love Song Sheila. What do you think about these flowers? I mean, 
Brown and yellow aren't my favourite, uh, aren't my favourite colours. But it's just opened two. It's got three buds all together. Two of them have opened. I'll go around and have a look at them from here. There they are. They're quite big. Because there's the uh, length of my finger and my hand there, and I've got it behind. So quite nice flowers those, aren't they? But uh, unfortunately, not my favourite colours. So McClellanara Pagan Love Song. It's the first flower in. So hopefully in a year or two that might be sending up uh, a couple of spikes. So I thought, just thought I'd show you that one. Bit of a change for me. There's a little uh, maxillaria variabilis here. This is what's left of the one that I split up. I've given two other plants away. And uh, there's some more over here that I split off it and they're also uh, starting to flower. There they are. Lots of people like these, but I think the, I mean the colours on them are lovely, but uh, the flower's a little bit too small for my liking. And yeah, that's about all I've got to show you. A nice little uh, frag here, another first time bloomer, still going strong. A bonny little thing that one so thank you for watching thanks to all my subscribers and uh, just a short video of this because I've not much more to do in here and uh, until next time I'll see you all later